connecting with what I said uh, to start with, a lot of upselling, a lot of stimulation of demand, a uh, lot of suggestion uh, lies in the manner in which the store, store is designed and the way it is presenting itself. I think a lot of that is art and science of retailing that uh, exists as well. People's training and making sure, I think when in doubt, in a self-service format, a supermarket kind of format where service component is relatively lower, when in doubt, leave people alone. For the reason that I mentioned, that if they wanted to chat up, then the, then the, the grocer was available right next to their, uh, their house. I think another important aspect, since you're mentioning India, that another important aspect, this whole contact sport, conversation with the customer, et cetera, uh, the people who are shopping in India and the people who are serving, they come from socially very different strata of society. And they are not social. They don't meet each They don't meet each other in the normal course of life. What we are all doing as service providers is to make this thing that the society doesn't do on its own. Right. We are making it happen. You are forcing it. You think? We are unnatural. We, is there we are, is there interaction we are, unnatural? Uh, yeah, we are enabling it. I think it's a good thing to it's do. A good thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what What does the so? The person who is serving in my store, when she or he, when they're wearing the uniform, they're actually wearing the, a social shield. Nice. Because then they're wearing the brand, and when they're wearing the brand, they can look in the eye of the customer who is three levels above in social strata. Uh, so one of the very early training that we have to do is self-confidence, is saying don't bring, the moment you wear the uniform, don't bring your social background on the floor because now when you are facing the customer, it is you and the brand both together.